What is up, good people? Jungle Inc. here. Hope you're doing well. Ripple just published a report. Math professor is warning that public key crypto systems need to be replaced. Of course, he's talking about the threat that quantum computers pose to cryptography of the future. I think there's a more immediate threat we have to think about. We'll go over that as well. But again, this is something that people need to start thinking about and preparing for now, even though the threat may not be so imminent, at least from quantum computing. There's a more near-term threat that's not mentioned in this report. We'll talk about it, but let's dig into this. Mathematician Professor Salas says current encryption methods won't protect blockchain systems from quantum computers. And again, we're just kind of ramping up this journey. There's no one in the world that has effective quantum computing today, but we're going to get there. Salas discuss focus on potential threats posed by quantum computers. Quantum computers would easily solve problems that are foundational to digital signatures, thus potentially undermining the mechanism that protects users' assets on blockchains. And this is the thing you have to think about. You know, if you have this capability, are you going to go after illiquid assets that will crater to zero if you crack their encryption? Probably not. You go after military capability first and modern day financial systems. There's all sorts of targets that would be much more attractive to someone that built this capability. The professor is preferring to a hypothetical paradigm called Q day. We'll get there. There will be a Q day. It's just probably quite a ways off. A point in which quantum computers become sufficiently powerful and available for bad actors to break classical encryption methods. So again, this isn't just blockchain. It's all security out there as we are in this digital world nowadays. But now is the time. You don't wait till, whoops, there's Q day. Let's start preparing now. Proactive methods are being made towards developing post-quantum computing cryptographic schemes to counter these measures. Again, quantum-resistant algorithms. David Schwartz has talked about this quite a bit. We need to spend a lot of time, and this is where really Ripple comes in, in the effort to educate the future cryptographers so they're ready for this new environment. And there's a lot of funding that goes out from Ripple to universities to fund exactly this type of thing. I don't think Ripple gets enough credit to do a lot of funding to universities, and they're not required to study XRP or RippleNet or cross-border payments. They have a lot of latitude to work on important issues like this. And again, this will affect everyone, not just the XRP ledger. Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of them. Uh, quantum computers do not pose an imminent threat but significant enough to warrant proactive measures. So now's the time to prepare. Let's talk about what is more imminent, what we need to think about now. That basically tomorrow, the next day, we don't know when, but this threat could emerge and we got a big problem. And again, crypto would be the least of it. Cryptocurrency tokens. AI systems may be capable, are capable, of looking at mathematical problems in a way that's beyond human comprehension. Just work in a fundamentally different way. And those pose, those types of systems pose a more imminent threat to security systems. There was recently uh, a rumor that OpenAI had some Q-star system that was able to crack cryptography. And is that happening? Is that significant? I don't know, but there was some craziness going on where Sam Altman was fired and something scared that board. This is not normal behavior from, you know, an enterprise that is having the success and domination that OpenAI is. And it's absolutely possible AI systems like QSTAR can perform advanced mathematical computations beyond human comprehension. They may be able to break current cryptography protocols and also disrupt networks. AI systems could use tailor-made attacks to automate and scale up, uh, you know, denial of service attacks, 51% attacks, things of this nature, things we can't really comprehend as regular humans, essentially. Of course, the downside to AI is it runs on classical computing, right? It doesn't have the power, the horsepower of a quantum system, and it really would rely on finding novel approaches to mathematical problems that, again, are be beyond our comprehension, our way of thinking or methods? Can it find new and novel ways to approach problems? It's very possible. Again, it's very different than what the threat that quantum computing, you know, poses in the future. Maybe it's not as powerful, but it's more likely to have an immediate impact or at least one on the short horizon. The Ripple report doesn't bring this up, but again, it's right in the same wheelhouse here. Again, all problems we have to 
continuously think about, prepare for, because the day will come when something like QSTAR is absolutely reality or Q day for quantum computers. It's going to happen at one point or the other. At the same time, though, the same technology that will be used to crack these systems will be used to secure them as well. Not the end of the world for crypto or, you know, online security in general, but something to start working towards. Really want to commend uh, Ripple for, again, funding these types of studies, this type of work. It's important for everyone to think about. Let me know what you think down below. As always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.